Creamy, interesting, hard, slightly darker, not spicy, good. Slightly browner, chewy, okay. Lobstery, opaque, light, classic, seafoody. Pretty tasty, salty, Ooh. hot and spicy. Gross. Dark red, burgundy, spicy, fragrant, salty, tangy, sweet, not overpowering. My lips are on fire right now. In March 2022, Hong Kong experienced a new wave of COVID-19 infections. Unfortunately, this led to panic buying and many items went out of stock like bread, rice and instant noodles. But not all instant noodles were bought up. For some reason, certain brands and flavours were untouched, so I thought I would try these ones. Today, it's the turn of the person on the front noodles. All right, here we are. So uh, this is the, um, this person, noodles, this guy with his finger. And these are spicy chili Sichuan pepper noodles. This is another kind of stirring noodle. First impressions, it's got a very, well, first of all, the noodles are beautiful, look. They're all sort of tangly and kind of corkscrewy or something. It's got a very seaweedy smell. So let's, Pour in the sauce, all of it. Wow, there's a lot of oil in there. It's looking like these are gonna be a little bit spicy. Okay, I can definitely smell that Sichuan pepper. Pretty good, I do like Sichuan pepper a lot. I like my numbing spicy flavors. Let's try some of these out. The noodles are quite interesting good texture. We might say they're a bit, um, I mean, it's partly my cooking. These are quite sort of al dente. That means um, a little bit firm on the tooth. That's how you have your pasta. In fact, it's quite like pasta. It reminds me of um, tagliatelle or something like that, where it's a little bit, um, you're starting to feel the, the numbing spiciness on your lips, but really not very spicy overall. In fact, I would say, to my taste, I would probably put some extra chili into this. That's a nice bowl of noodles. I can't say that I'm totally stuffed. I've still got some, some room, maybe if I was gonna have something else, some vegetables or something as well. Not too bad. I mean, maybe it's the, the price of these ones. Maybe it's just that guy with his, with his finger that people don't like. I thought that was a pretty nice bowl of noodles and uh, I would eat that again. So, despite this being uh, a pretty big box. It's actually just one bowl of noodles. It also comes with an entire chicken drumstick. Now I don't really eat meat so I'm gonna pass on the drumstick. I do know what chicken tastes like uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to somebody else in my family and then I'm gonna put on the sauce. I think this is some kind of sesame oil sauce. The oil. Oh. All right. Okay, here we go. So the noodles are pretty nice, I would say. They're kind of skinny ones. Don't really know what they're made of. Wow, that's definitely sesame oil in there. Soup is obviously some kind of chicken stock, and then I can see that the oil is kind of floating on the surface. Now, the first thing that I notice really about this is the quantity. There is a lot of noodles in here. I mean, this is 
easily enough for two people. I'm gonna share this enormous mass of noodles. It didn't look like that much when I took it out of the packet, to be honest. Um, I also noticed that uh, it seems you've got to provide your own wolf berries or goji berries and uh, that and uh, whatever that is, white stuff. So actually, now that I've taken out the chicken uh, leg or chicken drumstick, I am left with basically an enormous bowl of vermicelli noodles. Let's give it a try. This has not really got very much flavor at all. I'm guessing that this person is sort of health and fitness and this is some kind of a healthy soup. But I've got to say, if you want to be healthy, why are you buying instant noodles? You buy it for the flavor, right? And this does not have a lot of flavor. So not crazy about this one. All right, well, I'm gonna share this because I'm already starting to feel pretty full. I suppose that's one good thing about this box is that it will fill you up. But um, yeah, not big on flavor. I think you need to take the name uh, Delicious out of your brand name there. Alrighty, so today we have got spicy with shallot flavor dry noodles from E Plus. Uh, another packet of noodles that nobody seemed to want. Let's give them a try. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm not quite sure what a shallot is. It looks a bit like an onion, but then it's kind of in the shape of garlic. So I really don't know what it is. First impressions, um, you put the shallot mixture in first, so we've got that in the noodles already. And then you need to add the sauce, so let's give this a crack. So I'm looking forward to the spiciness of this. These are also dry noodles as well. Let's mix it up. So the smell is quite unusual, I'll be honest. I'm guessing that's the shallot smell. I don't really quite know how to describe it, to be honest. It's quite unique. Not sure that I particularly like it. Let's give it a try. It's not too spicy. The noodles are nice and thick. A little bit spicy at the end there. Yep, noodles are chewy and thick. A little tiny bit sweet somewhere in there, I think. I quite like it. To be honest, I feel like they could do with a little touch more spiciness. They're definitely warming. I feel myself warming up. I would say these are quite tasty. Not very tasty. They don't feel too unhealthy. It doesn't feel like they're full of MSG. Didn't really notice the shallot flavor too much, but it was fine. Although these are advertised as dry noodles, you can actually cook them as soup noodles, which is good. So it's good to have the option for that. Pretty good. I've got no idea why nobody would like to buy these and it's a shame. And I look forward to eating the, uh, the other four or five in the pack. So this is the lineup of noodles that I have eaten over uh, the last few days. Shu Bu Chi Taiwanese instant noodles. This is Jing Xiang Delicious. Um, and these ones were E plus spicy with shallot flavor. In conclusion, I've got no idea why nobody liked these ones. I thought they were all pretty nice. So the awards, um, my favorite packaging has got to be this one. Even though I laughed at this guy, I thought that these were pretty funny. This gets the award for the worst named because these were really not delicious. Also coming in at $50 for one bowl of noodles that is expensive that is expensive even if it does come with its own chicken leg in the packet although to be fair that was kind of gross for me dry shallot ones i like the fact that these are quite versatile and uh, introduced me to the wonderful world of shallots so uh, price the most versatile worst named and best packaging um, in terms of flavor i'm pretty much equal between these two i i thought they were i thought they were both pretty good I most look forward to buying this one again, and I think that I would probably buy this one, even if there were other choices. I, I, yeah, I thought these were quite good. Quite like them. Can't complain about eight dollars each. Uh, this one was about fourteen dollars, so a bit more expensive, but um, good quality noodles. I thought. Go Taiwan. So I will see you in the next episode of Mr. O sits and eats his lunch and makes a video at the same time. You've got a lot to answer for.